Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to explore the consumer group concept in programmatic way. Okay, so already in my previous video, I have discussed about the consumer group concept in detail with respect to theory point of view. If you want to know that detailed explanation, you can go through the link given in the description box. Okay, so without any further delay, let us directly jump into the lab section. So first what I will do, I will start the Kafka Zookeeper. Okay, so here I will go to my PyCharm console and I will paste the Zookeeper code and I will start that. And in a new terminal, what I will do, I will start my Kafka broker or Kafka server. Okay, so here my Kafka server is starting. It will start at default port 9092 and our Zookeeper will run in default port 2181. If you want you can check that also here you can see that it is running at port 2181 and our this particular broker will be running at port 9092 even you can observe here see it is connecting to port 9092 okay perfect now what i will do i am going to create a kafka topic the topic name i am giving hello underscore world one and it is going to have three partitions and replication factor only one i am keeping because Currently, we are just doing a POC and we are having only one server. So, no meaning of replication factor as of now. So, here I am keeping partition 3 so that I can show you the demo of Kafka consumer group where different Kafka consumer will be reading data from different partition. Okay. So, I have kept higher partition. Right. So, here my topic is created. Now, what we will do? We will start a consumer. Okay without consumer group and we will see how it is working. So here I will go to comment prompt and here I will paste the code and here I will hit an enter. So here our consumer is started. So let's see the producer code what we are doing here. It is a very simple code. First I am importing sleep then json.dumps and kafka producer. I am creating the producer here for this particular topic and here I am running an infinite loop where I am mentioning that this is the message whatever user input will be given then in which partition user want to enter the data and then here we are using producer.send that is asynchronously we are sending the data to our Kafka cluster and at the end here we are closing the Kafka producer okay right so here let's run this particular code and here it will ask the enter the message you want to send so what I will do I will make it little bit smaller okay and this is my Kafka consumer console. I will just make this also a little small. And here the message I want to send is suppose hello. Okay. And now in which partition I want to send the data? Maybe suppose I want to send the data in partition 0. Currently we are having three partitions. So partition 0, partition 1 and partition 2. So first message I have sent in partition 0. Then here world. This is the second message which I am sending in partition 1. And then there is another message hi which I am sending in partition 2 okay so here you can see in the left hand side in the producer side whenever we are producing messages in the consumer side it is getting consumed okay and let's see what is happening in log so if i go to kafka server logs here we'll see for our topic hello world 1 three partitions are created 0 1 and 2 if i go to 0th partition and if i open the log here hello will be coming because as per the input the hello message we published in partition 0 okay and that's how it works in the back end perfect right then here world message what we published in partition 1 that should be present in this log for partition 1 see here world is present okay and another one is high high message we published in partition 3 so if i just open that here high message is coming so in this way you can clearly understand this particular code is publishing the user message to that particular partition where we want to insert the data as simple as that okay now what i will do i will open another Kafka consumer okay now here I opened in a new tab and then here I will take the same code what I have taken earlier that is Kafka producer and consumer code okay and here I am using from beginning okay now this particular consumer is not aware of the fact that earlier this consumer has consumed these three data okay this consumer and this consumer are not in the same group they are not interconnected they don't have any communication or any synchronization right so if i just hit and enter here you will see that this particular consumer also has consumed three messages whatever our first consumer has consumed and then if i start publishing more messages 
both the consumers will start consuming them okay like maybe here i am passing some number and in the partition one i want to send see parallelly in both the consumer it is getting consumed okay right so here if i go to run section sorry little bit right and here if i just put some other input in partition 2 suppose i want to enter see it is coming parallel right so that's what the problem okay what we discussed in our previous video that here only one consumer is taking all the responsibility of processing the messages but in real world suppose the speed of production of messages is very high then one single consumer cannot handle that much load so we need to distribute the message consumption among different consumers and there comes the consumer group concept right so let's inspect the consumer group concept now okay so what i will do i will stop this consumer okay and here i will stop this consumer also right and now what i will do i will open the consumer from a group okay so to start consumer within a group the code is same like earlier only thing is here we are mentioning the group my first consumer group this is the name what we have provided okay perfect now here what i will do i will basically paste the consumer group code here now here i am starting one consumer okay so here you can see whatever messages we already published in this particular topic hello world one all this it has consumed as usual but now suppose i am starting another consumer within the same consumer group and here also from beginning is written that means it should also consume from beginning whatever message is there but it will not do why because already one consumer within the same group has consumed all the messages from beginning so this consumer will again not redo or reprocess the same messages so let's see that if i hit and enter here you will see nothing is happening so now let's see how the work is getting distributed basically both the consumers are belonging to same consumer group okay earlier we have seen when consumers don't had any synchronization then both the consumers were consuming messages but now both the consumers are under same group so same message should not be consumed by both of them one message if one consumer is consuming at that same message the other consumer will not consume okay so let me show you that so i am writing hello testing and i am publishing in partition zero okay so if i am publishing the message in partition zero it is consumed by the top consumer okay then here i can give hello world in partition one okay then also it is getting consumed by the top consumer okay so here i can give hello world hi kafka okay and this time we want to publish the message in our last partition which is partition 2 if i hit and enter still this one is only consuming so this consumer has not started consuming anything so let's see so actually in the back end rebalancing starts okay so initially we are having only one consumer that is basically reading all the messages from all the partition right now eventually kafka will do rebalancing and then the messages will be getting distributed so let's see let's publish some more messages so if i do hello and partition one so currently you can see that this time this message is going to only second consumer our first consumer has not consumed the message okay so one two three four if i do and if i publish in partition zero here you can see the partition zero messages also going to the second consumer okay some messages in partition two if we publish it is going to this particular consumer so kind of after rebalancing the rule can be any message if it is getting published in partition 2 our first consumer will consume and apart from partition 2 if any message is getting published in partition 0 or partition 1 our lower consumer will consume that okay so like for example i can publish some more messages and show you so hello and then i can pass in partition 1 okay so as per logic what should happen partition 1 message should go to this particular consumer right because that's how it happened earlier we have seen so if i just hit and enter here you can see partition one message is going to the lower consumer okay so high and zero if i pass again zeroth partition is also consumed by this particular consumer but suppose i am passing something to partition two then here you can see that partition two messages are consumed by this particular consumer so like that way rebalancing happens whatever message one consumer is consuming other consumer is not consuming that and individual consumers are reading the data from specific partition other consumer are not reading from same partition okay like here in this case the top level consumer this upper window this one is consuming all the messages from partition 2 and this lower one is consuming all the messages from partition 0 and partition 1 
like some more message partition zero if I publish okay a consumer one I can put see here you can see it is going to the lower window okay now what I can do I can open another comment prompt okay and here I can start another consumer okay so what I will do here I will take the consumer group code and here I will put an enter okay now again rebalancing will happen why because we are having three partitions in our topic and currently we are having three different consumers so ideally what should happen after kafka properly rebalance in the back end individual consumers will be consuming from individual partition that we don't know exactly which consumer will consume from which partition that we can easily understand by publishing some messages okay so like for example here i can pass hi okay and maybe partition 0 I want to publish so here you can see that partition 0 messages are consumed by this particular consumer so what I will do because it is consuming partition 0 messages I will be keeping it on the top because that is the first order and then here I can put some value and now I want to publish in partition 1 ok so partition 1 message is consumed by this particular consumer so I will keep that here ok and here now some more message I want to publish in partition 2 so let's see so partition 2 messages are consumed by this particular consumer see the proper coordination none of the consumer are consuming same message which is consumed by other consumer okay and now the work is distributed among three consumers this consumer is consuming the messages from partition 0 this is consuming the messages from partition 1 this is consuming the messages from partition 2 like for example i can pass some message in from partition 0 okay then this consumer will consume let's see see here 4654 four, is consumed okay I can publish some message in partition 1, see here this particular consumer has consumed. I can pass some message in partition 2, see here this particular consumer has consumed. Like that it is working. Okay, now what do I want to do? I want to basically start another consumer and let's see what is happening. Okay, so I will just make this kind of window little smaller so that I can show you the demo properly. Okay, so here is my third set. Okay, let me just show you it is perfectly working. One, two, three. So I pass in partition zero, it will go to the top one. Suppose some message I am passing in partition one it is going to the middle one. Suppose some message I am publishing in third partition, then it is going to this one. Okay, now what I will do, I will open comment prompt. I will just make this a little bit smaller and keep it here. Okay, and here I will start another consumer under same consumer group. Okay, now what will happen? See. We are having three partition and already in our consumer group there are three consumers. So each consumer are consuming the message from individual partition, right? Now when we are starting fourth consumer, if you recall our theory, I have told you that if total number of consumers under a group is more than number of partition, then at least one consumer will be sitting idle. Okay. So out of these four, after rebalancing, one consumer will not consume any message. Okay. Because from one particular partition, only one consumer can consume the message okay so let's see so if i just hit an enter here again a new consumer we have started within our same consumer group so again in the back end rebalancing will happen okay so order might change so let's see if i publish some message in partition zero earlier the top one was consuming let's see now who is consuming this one only consuming okay so here i want to publish some message in partition one so here you can see earlier this second window was consuming all the messages from partition one but this time this particular new consumer whatever i have created under the consumer group that started consuming all the messages from partition one okay so let's publish some message in partition two and let's see so here you can see this particular middle window which earlier was consuming the message from partition one now it is consuming the messages from partition two. okay so this consumer is consuming message from partition zero this consumer is consuming the messages from partition 1. This consumer is consuming the messages from partition 2. So obviously this consumer, the last one will be sitting ideal. Okay, so let's see by publishing some message. So I will publish some message in partition 0. So top one is consuming, that is fine. Okay, I will publish some message in partition 1. Then this particular consumer should consume. So let's see. See, this is consuming. Okay, I want to publish some message in consumer 2. See, this is consuming. Okay, so overall what is happening, this particular consumer is now not at all working okay some zero message i am publishing some one in partition one i am publishing something 
and in condition 2 I am publishing something. See all three consumers are only taking the message not this one. Okay. So here you are getting two very important points. Okay. Number one, within same consumer group, if you are starting multiple consumers, then they will distribute their work. If one message is consumed by one consumer, other consumer will not consume the same message for processing. Okay. That way in consumer side, we are doing scaling up. So that way, basically what will happen, the consumer speed can beat the level of the message production speed. Okay. And if we are having more consumers within a particular consumer group, then number of partitions, then obviously one consumer will be sitting ideal. Okay. And whenever new consumers spin up or existing consumers spin down, then Kafka will automatically do rebalancing. Okay. What we have seen. So we have seen that whenever we are publishing message in partition 2, this particular middle window is consuming the message. Okay. So let's close this particular consumer and see what is happening. Okay. So I will just close this particular consumer and close this particular window. So what will happen in the back end? Obviously, again Kafka will rebalance. Okay. This consumer was consuming the message from partition 0. This was consuming the message from partition 1. Now that particular consumer which was consuming from partition 2 that is now down. Okay. So this particular consumer which was sitting ideal now it should consume the data. So let's see that. So suppose I am publishing some message in partition 0. It is consumed by the first consumer. That is fine. I am passing some message to partition 1. This consumer was consuming earlier. Let's see now who is consuming. So if I do this consumer only consuming, now I will publish a message in partition 2 and see this particular consumer which was sitting ideal earlier, okay, that is that started consuming the messages, okay. And that way this particular architecture is working in a very robust manner, right. I hope you are getting that and this is the beauty of consumer group. So that's what I, I wanted to discuss today in this particular session. I will post all the codes in the description box or in the comment section. If you want to know the Kafka concepts with python from scratch you can check the link in the description box and if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you